Hi, I thought I'd offer a couple of tips on using the new Surface Tracker that's included in the new Resolve version 18 that's currently in public beta. For starters, note that the tracker will work best with higher contrast elements. So clothing that has visible deformations in it or a strong pattern will work best. Something like this dark suit will cause the tracker to fail since it has very little contrast in it. You can always create a serial node before your tracker node and crank the contrast and then delete that node after you've finished your tracking. And this also works well for skin surface tracking. Another thing you can do to make things slightly easier is in this instance here, I want to add text to this young girl's shirt that says, My Little Angel. Now I can create a small file that has an alpha or transparency channel and the text that I wish to track onto the little girl like this. I used Photoshop to create this and I save it as a PNG file with transparency, but a PSD file will also work just fine. Now I add my PNG file that I just created to the media pool and now on the color page I add the surface tracker node from the effects gallery like this. I set the bounds of the area on the shirt that I wish to use for the text and go ahead and track it. Then I head over to the result part of the tracker's UI like so. Now I'll add the text element to my node tree from the media pool. I'll connect the green image connector to the same connector on the tracker node. Then add the top alpha connector to the bottom alpha connector on the tracker. Now I have to set the tracker to the reference frame or the starting frame from which it tracked the footage. The positioning option will be on interactive canvas by default and now I will use the handles of the interactive canvas to position the element to the tracked region. I'll play back the clip and as we can see that works. An alternative to this is to grab a still like this from the footage on the color page. Now I open the gallery and right mouse click to export the still. I'll select the TIFF format for this, then open that in your photo editing software, Photoshop in my case here, then add the element to the exact location that you want it to appear in the image. Now turn off the background with the video frame in it so that all you have left is the element that you wish to have tracked and save the document in a format that supports an alpha or transparency channel such as PNG or PSD. I'll use PSD for this demo. Now I have an image element that is the same size as my footage, 1920 by 1080 in this case, and has been pre-positioned to the correct spot. Back in Resolve, I add the PSD file to the media pool. I'll remove the other element that I was using from the node tree and reset the position in the tracker's UI like so. Then drag my new full-size image element into the node tree area like this. I add its green image connector to the the tracker along with the top alpha channel connector like so and voila the new element is already correctly positioned and the tracker does its magic okay that's it for this tip i hope this helps someone out there if you like the video please click like as that helps other folks find the video and until the next video take care